To digitize VHS tapes, first open the Elgato video capture software on the computer. On this screen, you can change the name of your movie, or you can keep it as is because you can change the name of the file after it's converted. It also asks approximately how long the movie is. You can leave this at the 60 minute setting. The important screen is the preferences. Click on the preferences and navigate to the external storage that you brought with you because you can't save on the computer. I'm going to navigate to my iDrive and save to it. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go to the Continue button. At this point, if the tape is already not in the VCR, you need to put the tape in and push play. Because we need to verify that we are seeing the video before we continue the process. And I see the video, so I can click continue. This screen is to check the audio. So I need to stay on this screen until I hear audio on the recording to make sure that the audio is working. And once I hear that, I can click continue. And I see the audio showing up now. Now, if it didn't matter if I was at the beginning of the tape, I could just hit the start recording button right now. But I want to rewind and get back to the beginning and then start play again and then click the recording button. So I'm back to where I want to be. I hit play and then I start the recording. And then you can click the mute sound or if you do want it to automatically stop after 60 minutes you can check that box. Now you can either watch it or do something else on the computer while it's digitizing because this will happen in real time. There's no way to speed it up. I'm going to keep things here while we watch the building collapse. That was the implosion of the building that was sitting where the main library is. It had to be torn down so the library could be built. When you get to the end, click the Stop Recording button. And then the software figures out that you stopped. And now you're going to get a screen to trim the beginning and end of your video. You can grab the little triangles at the beginning and at the end to trim your video. Use the arrow keys while the triangle is selected to go a frame at a time, forward or backwards. I'm going to trim the beginning to when I start to see the video. 
and then I'm going to trim the end to the seven minute mark. For some reason, the video doesn't show up in the recording. But once I get it back to seven minutes, I can click continue. And then the software is going to export to the storage device that I pointed to in the preferences. Once that is finished exporting, you can either click the Again button to start over with another recording, or you can click Quit to exit the software.